Hey guys, my name is Jerson. I'm a VFX compositor and Unreal Engine artist. In this video, I wanted to show how to support and set up your scene currently for Unreal Engine 5 to Nuke. I will be using my own scene that I created previously using Unreal Engine 5 and Nuke Indie. If you want to take a look, I will let you the link below to the demo video. This video will focus on how to optimize the way to get accurate cameras and some AOB from your scene. So let's get started. All right, the first thing that you need to know is that you will need the Nuke server installed in your Unreal. So you have to go to thefoundry.com and you have to download these links. And yeah, you have to make sure all your Nukes are uh, your new version and your well, Unreal Engine version. So you have to download that correct version that you have right now. All the installation process and all kind of stuff before you start, because you will need the uh, the the server plugin in, installing in your Unreal scene. In that way, you will connect your bridge to Nuke. I will let you the link below to get the, the Nuke server. When you have your a scene from Unreal already, and probably you don't know how to get your camera correctly, or probably you have the camera, but the camera it has some problem or issue, like uh, has a different orientation, all uh, kind of stuff like that. So the one, the, the way you you probably you want to start to get is using uh, the Unreal Reader. You have to bring your all Unreal Reader the node and you had to setting up all the stuff right here but yeah I already got my uh, right here you have to come back to Unreal and you want to start the server and the server is in window new server so you have to make sure that port number is 9000 in UK probably it's gonna be 8,000, 7,000, but you have to put the number and start the server. Once the server status is running, you can go back to Nuk, select your Unreal Reader node and fetch latest. You have to make sure the port is correctly, you know? And you have just to wait until your scenes are load completely in you all right once you get you'll get your scene you know the window real reader uh, you have to make sure that you have to select your correct map so your level that you're working right now I have like a, a plane level so I have just to make sure you can go back to your real uh, you have to make sure that the correct level that you have right now that you're working on my case is TWT CRM UE. You can go back to the new and your map. You have to make sure the the correct level and if this one here. You will be loading all your sim. You have to to wait all the pins or what kind of stuff you have in the in your sim. All right, it's done. I already got my sim here, so. Right now, you have to make sure all swell your sequence. So I'm working with this sequence here. Uh, my sequence is called the same of my level. You have to make sure that your sequence is correctly the same of the end of real. You know, first thing first is when you want to get your camera, probably in Unreal, you can do it in this way. You can go to the sequence and your camera. You want to select your camera and go to files and export selected. This is a way that probably you can get your camera. Just save the file. This is the, on the other way, you know. When you get that camera, you will notice that this camera will be in different location all right 
and it's a demo cam and you exported it if you see your camera let me see where the camera at. there is if you see your camera is in different orientation yeah that's because unreal uh works in different axes uh and different from unreal uh with a nuke sorry with a nuke in this case there's a few options that you can probably do you can uh create an axis and you can pairing the axis with the camera and you can invert the values with the y to to the c but this is not the case so you want to get correctly your camera from unreal the way that you can get this go in the unreal reader you can see all the camera data is here if you you can hit create camera you will get the camera that you have right now working in your cinematic in your sequence. If you go here and check your camera, you see get that your camera is in different orientation. That that makes sense right now. If you want to make sure that all the everything is working now, go here and you want to check all your AOBs here. There's a description with all the AOB that you will need. So it depends on you what, what kind of stuff you want to do here. In my case, I want to bring word depth, word normal, word position, probably velocity, and uh, a scene depth. This one is more accurate than word depth. You, you will see this. Once you get this, you want to go back and update channel list. You have to wait a little bit. Once the Unreal Reader load all these passes, you can check it out here. And you can see all your passes here. That's the depth. You have the, your word position, you have the word normal, and the word depth. Again, and the velocity. This one you have to normalize too, because if you see, there's a, probably you see all yellow, but if you put the pin here you see there's information here now so you have to normalize it and you have to create them here too if you want to write out this one you have to go to the right here and you have just to rename your file I'm going to choose here and you have just to write to the disk on the background Unreal is going to uh, render all those tests you can go here and you will see that it's rendering right now your passes there we go so once you get everything here you can just go to your reader and just reload you can create your layer content sheet to check it out all the passes you have right now there you go now if you want to check it out all your scene with the camera and everything is working correctly uh, I have this set up here I just going to copy this right here to here uh, what is my AB it is here this one here so I'm going to shuffle out my position pass because I want to do a position to points to get a cloud. Yeah, in that way I will check it out all the position, all my scene right now here. If you see, that's all my scene. All your scene. So in this case, Nuke will show me all my scene uh, created with punch clouds right now. I'm going to bring my camera here and boom you see your camera is in the in the correct position right now if you want to add 2d and 3d elements to this scene you will do it so fast right now I have this smiley spell whatever you call it here these two elements and uh, 
you want to create that car 3D. Car 3D, you have to bring your car 3D node. That's it. So here. There you go. You have your camera. You have to plug this pipe to your camera. I have already my CG play here, my render, my, my beauty. And I want to check it out here. So double click to my point clouds and my car. If you want, probably if you want to put it right here, we'll be in the correct place in the, the 3D environment, your element. When you will get all the things there, you will see it right now. So, and it's in the correct position in your scene. So, that's the reason that you always get, you want to get the correct camera and data through this method because it will be so accurate when you get all the stuff. Now, you can install position here and you will see that it's correctly right now. I'm going to breathe again the previous sport that I made from Unreal. You will see that it's in different location this camera. You see? This is the camera that I export through Unreal Engine. And this is the camera that I create with the Unreal Reader. And it's correctly with my sequence that I created. In Unreal, you will see, and yeah, in that way you will get everything accurate. Yeah, if the pin of view, you will get all your view. Hey, is here. It's all depends what what kind of stuff you want to do now. You can shuffle out and put with the velocity. You you can get the motion blur. If you want to get the uh, the focus, you can use you have seen that. Even if you want to get the cryptomate, you can bring your cryptomate node. You will see everything here. Or it's in red and low res. And you can select the layer that you want to stealth in out or whatever. And that's it. All right. And that way you will get everything so correctly in your uh, milk now so don't forget to when you want to check your scene you have to bring your own uh, your own node call this position points you have to configure uh, everything and set it up all the steam if you want to get all the points more or less it all depends over your scene probably you will get like a like this the point detail is gonna be less than mine you have just to increment it, the point size as well because you will you won't see anything you will get all the details right there so don't forget to do that before to get that and you have to chop out your position and you have to bring your up here the work position is gonna be with your render and the position with your chopper yeah, in that way you will get all the position clouds all right all right guys i hope you enjoyed their time and enjoyed the video and if you do have more questions or something just comment down below you know all right see you next time